to every heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We sing hallelujah. Hallelujah for the Lord God. Oh, many potent reign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Be lifted up. Be lifted up. Higher. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Be lifted Hallelujah, for you are oh, holy, righteous, and worthy. Oh, yes, be lifted. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people call you. Jehovah, you are bigger than what people say. Some say that you are good, oh, you are kind. You will be good than what people say. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. This month was start and I be tag a month of divine awakening. Praise the Lord. This is a month of divine awakening, the month of April. What does it mean? divine awakening to come to the status of who we are in Christ, to carry the consciousness of the status of who we are in Christ, to carry the consciousness that this world is not our home, that we have a heavenly home. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have a heavenly abode. The Bible says that we are ambassador of Christ on earth, that means we are ambassador of heaven on earth. Meaning heaven is not a permanent place. But, uh, meaning earth is not a permanent place. This world is temporary. No matter how long you live in this world, the day you die, your own world has come to an end. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And eternity, the journey to eternity is setting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But, and you will be judged by the short time you have come to live on earth, if you live 120, if you live 150, is a short time compared to eternity. So eternity is more, more important. So if we are talking about divine awakening, we are talking about divine awakening to this consciousness, to the consciousness that the Lord has brought you to this earth on an assignment, the, the assignment which is the vision and the mission he has given to you, the plan and purpose for you to be on this planet Earth is that you made an impact on the Earth on behalf of heaven, on behalf of God that gave you that plan, that gave you that purpose. And after you have fulfilled that purpose, that that purpose should give you a reward in heaven. That purpose should give you a reward in heaven and that purpose should not make you to lose heaven. A lot of us watching me now, a lot of people in the bid of fulfilling purpose have lost sight of heaven and they will fulfill purpose in sin. They are fulfilling purpose, displeasing the giver of the purpose. They are fulfilling purpose, but displeasing the one that gave them purpose. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No wonder Jesus speaking. He said, at the end of the age, he will say, he will separate the goat from the sheep. And he will tell the goat and the, the goat that get away from me, you workers of iniquity. Get away from me, you lawless one. You... Workers of iniquity. But he will welcome the sheep and tell them, Welcome, faithful and good servant. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. So to, to awake us further, today being the last day in the month of April, I bring a short admonition I call divine awakening a thanksgiving way to divine awakening. Thanksgiving way to divine awakening. When we say thanksgiving, what do we mean? Thanksgiving, in my own definition, is the art, A-R-T-S, and the act is 
CTS, the art and the art of appreciating God for all his doings in our lives, for all his doings in our life, for all the happiness in our life, either perceived to be good or perceived to be bad. There are so many things that are happening to us that seems bad. Me, Meanwhile, it's God that's orchestrating them to straight streamline and to straighten our life. So, and it's God that's orchestrating them to remove all crookedness in our life. He said, I will go before you and, re and remove every form of crookedness in our lives. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, thanksgiving is just to appreciate God for all the happenings in your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I've realized that anything you appreciate, appreciate. And anything you refuse to appreciate, depreciate in your life. When you appreciate God for the happiness in your life, you bring more of his presence into your life because you can never have enough of God's presence in your life. Every day we need more of his presence. The presence of God that, was, that is required yesterday is not enough for today. You need more of God's presence. That is why the anointing is in stages and the presence of God a man carry is in stages also. If the Bible says until the plan and purpose of God is for us is that we develop in the stature of Christ until we become like him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What part of Christ be, has been forming you? What attribute of Christ do you possess? Praise the Lord. Nothing caused divine awakening in us like thanksgiving. You will realize anytime you are down, your spiritual life is lukewarm. Your spiritual life is, is dry. You don't have zeal to worship. You don't have zeal to pray. You don't have zeal to study. You don't have zeal to meditate on the word of God. Why? Maybe the pressures of God, maybe the pressures of this world have choked the presence of God in your life. Maybe the pressure... The pressure of this world have choked the presence of God in your life. When you switch to thanksgiving, you will see it naturally brings back the presence of God to your life. Because God inhabits the praises of his people. And when you, you are giving him praise, you are thanking him. Praise the Lord. You mm -hmm. cannot really praise God, we cannot really praise God without the heart of thanksgiving. It is almost impossible to give quality praise to God without a, without a heart of thanksgiving. If you are giving praises to God without a heart of thanksgiving, it, that is you are just praising Him from your lips, not from your heart. Everything you would do should be in thanksgiving. In First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, he said, In all things, in all things, we should give thanks to God for all things and in all things. When you feel like it, when you don't feel like it, when things are happening well to you, when it's happening otherwise, give thanks to Him. Anytime you give thanks to God, you bring his presence into that situation. You bring his presence into that condition. And God cannot be present in your condition. He cannot be present in your situation. No matter how bad it seems. No matter how dead the thing is. No matter how dead the situation is. God's presence revives it. God's presence injects life into it. Today, as you give God quality times given, I see His presence come. It is precious being revived in you. I see His presence coming to that situation. 
when you give God quality tithes concerning that debt you are owing, that is like the debt is larger than life, where you give quality tithes into that debt situation, you see it comes alive. God will bless you that when you pay that debt, you, have, you still have more than enough. Why? Because God is more than enough compared to that debt. If he can create the whole earth in six days, what are you owing that he can't fix for you? That sickness, that disease that they have given you a time you will die, they did not create you. They cannot determine when you will die. They are only forecasting. But you can give God quality times for that cancer. You can give quite give in that cancer, in in that situation that that cancer has put you, in that situation that that terminal disease has put you. When you give him quality times, you will see your body reviving and healing from that disease, healing from that sickness. Times giving is omnipotent. Why? Because Jesus, God, is omnipotent. Times giving is omnipresent because God is omnipresent. Times giving is omnipresent because God is omnipresent. What do I mean? If you give thanks to God, it invites His presence. And when His presence comes into your life, when it comes to that situation, everything God represents begins to manifest in you. So it's not a matter I feel like, I don't feel like, it's a matter of necessity, giving thanks to God in all situations, giving thanks to God at all times, out of season and in season. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's turn our Bible to Colossians 2, 7 to 8. Colossians chapter 2, the book of Colossians chapter 2, 7 to 8. It says, as you therefore have received Christ, Jesus the Lord, so walk in him rooted and built up in him and established in faith as you have been taught abounding in it with thanksgiving. That's when all what I've, I've read before this last phrase all abound in thanksgiving. Meaning it said as you therefore have received Christ meaning we receive Christ in thanksgiving. What do I mean? That we receive Christ in thanksgiving. Anyone giving his life to Christ, when a man is giving his life to Christ, what he has done that he, has, he might not realize is he's thanking Christ for coming to, for accepting to die for his sin. Giving your life to Christ is accepting in thanksgiving that Jesus, I thank you for saving my life. For dying for my sins. So accepting him is thanking him for dying for your sin, for paying the penalty of, of sin, which is death. He said, As you therefore receive Christ, Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. So we receive Christ with thanksgiving. Number two, say walk it in Christ. You cannot walk in Christ until you are a thanksgiver. It takes a thanksgiver to truly walk in Christ. Why? When you are not appreciating what God is doing in your life, how will you walk with him? That is why everything needs has to begin your prayer, your fasting, whatever you are going to do in God has to begin with thanksgiving, end in thanksgiving. You have to appreciate God. So working in Christ has to be with thanksgiving. Nobody is a rooted. Without thanksgiving, you cannot be rooted in Christ. Because anyone that is always fixing, if you're watching me now, and you are always fixing your heart, on what God has not done in your life. Only what God has done in your life, you cannot be rooted in Christ. Because there are times that it will seem and it will look as if nothing is happening in your life. Meanwhile, God 
is at the background working things out for you. There are so many protections God gave you because you did not see it. There are so many times God preserved your life, but you are not aware what He what He is He's done in your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you can only be rooted in thanksgiving. You can only be rooted in Christ in thanksgiving. Number four, say built up. Built up in him. Also, you cannot be built up in Christ without a my career and a, a career of a mindset of thanksgiving. If you are not appreciative of what God is doing in your life, you cannot be built up in Christ. Because there are times you won't feel like it. Yet, it's building you up. You must thank him in those situations, in faith, that though you can't really perceive, you can't really see anything, but in faith, you believe he's building you up. That is working in your favor. So you can only, you only be built up when you appreciate it. Number five. It's a rooted, built up in him and established in the faith. Your faith can never be established when you are, you are of an ungrateful heart. Ungratefulness will never allow a man to be established. Even when a man is ungrateful for fellow men. I don't know if I've happened to anyone here watching me. If a man help you and you refuse to say thank you, when next you need the help, you will see that you feel ashamed calling him. So no good relationship can be established without an appreciating heart. It takes thanksgiving, a heart of thanksgiving to establish a relationship. Likewise, your relationship with God cannot be established when you are not appreciating Him. Thanksgiving establishes you in Christ. Hallelujah. It is because you appreciate the death of Christ on the cross that will, that will make you not to commission. Because committing sin is like cruc is as you are crucifying God, the sec Jesus, the second time. So living a righteous and a holy life is a way to say so thank you for saving me. Thank you. You are when you appreciate the suffering of Christ on the cross. Committing sin will become a taboo to you. You be careful the way you carry yourself as a believer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It says, establishing faith as you have been taught, as you have been taught, abounding in thanksgiving. That's when we should carry a heart of thanksgiving. As we have been taught, we should teach others. When you see somebody that is not bothered about evangelism, is not bothered about people being saved, is not bothered about Christ transforming other people's lives, and is a believer, is because he's not appreciating his own salvation. When you appreciate where you are coming from before, how you used to be a drunkard, how you used to follow the devil, how you used to be a prostitute, how you used to be a juju man, and now you are in Christ Jesus, you will have the mind to save others. You want to teach others to come to Christ and be saved. You, you see, brethren, that everything about Christ begins and ends with thanksgiving. And you have begun this month with thanksgiving. It will end for you in thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. So, what is the one way to carry the heart of thanksgiving? Is to count your blessing. Name them one by one, like the songwriter said. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done for you. Always 
have your heart on what God, what you can see God do for you. Anytime you set your heart on what, on the need God has not met in your life, you start feeling God is unkind, unfaithful to you. Let your heart perpetually be on all he has done for you. And the one you thought you have not done for you is because you have not seen it. It's there. That pray for financial breakthrough, but you are not sick. Who to thank him? Must you go to the hospital and see people that are paying for oxygen to breathe the air you are breathing? Must you go to the hospital and see people that they have just operated on and they are asking if they are farted to know if their system has started running on their own? Go to the hospital and see people that have toothache crying with pain. Go to the hospital and see the leg you are using to walk around and say, what kind of life is this? And see people that their leg is hung because of accident, the accident they had that broke their bones. Would to thank God for some help. The freedom you have, would to thank God for it that people in the prison incarcerated. You need to have a heart of thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a, what a way to end the month. Every month. Always start the month. Every month with thanksgiving and end it with thanksgiving. That is why in Great Show Amazing Ministry, the first and the last Sunday of the month are dedicated to thanksgiving. The first Sunday is dedicated to personal thanksgivings. And the last one is dedicated to general thanksgiving. You thank God for all things he has done for you for that month. Therefore, in the hour of grace, let's begin to thank God. Let's begin to worship him. Having known now that when you thank God, you carry the presence of God. That's the cheapest way to carry the presence of God. Thanksgiving. And maintaining your relationship with him. Obeying God. Do his will and purpose for your life. Begin to thank him. Thank him for all he has done for you. Thank him for, pre pre for protecting you all through the month of April. Father, we thank you for protecting us all through this month of April. We thank you for protecting our family. We thank you for protecting our businesses and careers. We say thank you. We worship you, Lord, for your edge of protection over us. We have been the one protecting our going out and our coming in. We have come to thank you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. There's a difference between God's protection and God's preservation. If you buy meat in the market and you 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 do you you don't preserve it, you are just protecting about you will be the one to throw it away when it starts smelling. Preservation is different from protection. The madman in the street is protected but not preserved. Mm. Why not thank God for preserving you and your family all through this month of April? Father, we thank you for preserving us as a church, as a family, for preserving the grace, the grace of amazing family. We say thank you for your edge of preservation. Thank you for preserving the man, the woman, the youth, the children, the teenagers. We say thank you for preserving our lives, for preserving our properties, for preserving our favor line. We say thank you for preserving our relationship. We say thank you for preserving our marriages, our health. We say thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to thank God again now for his divine provision. God, especially if you're a Nigerian, only God has been preserving, protecting, and providing for us in this country. Let's begin to thank him. Father, we thank you. Mahachara Balatosia. Though has been Christ increased four times over, you kept providing for us. Though food has food price have increased exceedingly, 
You kept providing for us. We say thank you. Oh, Yakato Arabalaza for financial provision, material provision. Oh, Payada Korobalaza for provision of all our needs. We say thank you. As a family, we have come to return all the glory and adoration for you to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Congratulations. Because you have given him quality thanks today. The, the new month you are entering, uh, God will protect, preserve, and provide for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. This month end for you in thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen. In your business and career, you will end this month in thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever is against your thanksgiving this month, I come against them by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every covenant that says you will not end this year with thanksgiving, that you will not end this month with thanksgiving, I come against them by the covenant of the blood of Jesus. And the month of April with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will sing songs of thanksgiving this month in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will enter the month of May with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is done in Jesus' name. Amen. In case you are under the bondage of any secrets and diseases, because you must end this month with thanksgiving, I decree, be healed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. By his strife we are made whole. Be made whole now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus took your infirmity. Infirmity, you have no more. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. It, the month must end for you in thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How will you truly end this month? month with thanksgiving when you are not giving your life to Christ. If you are in that category, you are yet to give your life to Christ. I would like you to repeat after me. You say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I have come before you as a sinner. I want to end this month with thanksgiving. Therefore, I want my life to end with thanksgiving. Come into my life, Jesus. I am a sinner. Forgive me my sins. I release to you, Jesus, my spirit, body, and soul. Take over my life, Jesus. Come into my life and be my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me from the corruption of this world, from saving me from spiritual death and everlasting death. Thank you for saving my life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Let me pray for you now. I pray for you now. The grace that saved you today, save you to the end in the name of Jesus. Amen. If Jesus tarry, you will not miss your salvation in the name of Jesus. It's as, as you live on in this world, I decree grace to sustain your salvation rest upon you now in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not fall by the wayside in the name of Jesus. The, the pressures of this world will not take you out of Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. It will not make you lose your salvation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Persecutions will not make you lose your salvation in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Brethren, we have come to the end of today's live broadcast called the Hour of Grace in Grace and Amazing Ministry. Therefore, as you go, the Lord bless you and keep you in the name of Jesus. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and your family in the name of Jesus. The Lord become gracious to you and your family in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because this year, this month is will end for you in thanksgiving. Therefore, I decree the Lord lift up this countenance upon you and your family and grant you all our rest and peace. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He is good and his mercy is, is forever. He is good and his mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high. You are the most high God. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Surely. Goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house and the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God grace for us. So, so amazing. amazing. So amazing. God grace for us. Hallelujah. Shalom. Keep giving him thanks, and you will end and begin. You will end this month with thanksgiving, and begin a new month tomorrow with thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shalom.